Thank you, Lord Jesus. I want to give you praise, Lord. Glory, honor, majesty. We need to pour up to your holy name, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you praise. King of King, Lord of Lord, mighty God. We thank you for the blessings of going out yesterday and coming in. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings of sleeping and waking up. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the answers of prayers, oh Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Jesus. We give you praise. You are one, Lord, like you. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, Lord Jesus. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This morning, in the name of Jesus, come and ask. Father, Lord, everyone we have sinned against you, conscious, not conscious, to have mercy. And this us with all the righteousness in the name of Jesus. Wash me, Lord. Wash us, Lord. With your precious blood, you have shed upon the cross of Calvary. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Lord, take charge of today, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit. We invite you, Lord Jesus. We must send you come in your power. Come in your mind. In the name of Jesus. We must send you a send you a power. We must send you a power. We must send you a Give you glory, give you glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Once again, we hold the ends of the earth. We shake off every wickedness. We shake off every evil being arranged against our spiritual body. Every evil program. In the name of our counsel, we counsel. We shake them off in the name of Jesus. We shake them off in the name of Jesus. We shake them off in the name of Jesus. My son, my son, I will rock up here. In the name of Jesus, I will rock up here. You will not stand in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning. Glory be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord is. That's what I.
the spirit of the lord the works of the spirit of the lord we can see that in isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1 in the name of jesus master that is what the lord the light the light the lord wants us to shine in this life that we are in and i pray everything that has been destroying and distracting this light this this my this fruit master springing up from from in make us to turn our environment to be a habitable place because when the spirit of the lord is upon you when the spirit of the lord must stand in air and be manifested in our lives earlier wherever we go we will be the light because we are touched by the bible says we are the burning torch it's a burning torch in the hand of the lord it will light up anywhere we go we will light the seat of God wherever we go. We cause life to begin to take place wherever we go. In the name of Jesus. Let me to pray again this morning in the name of Jesus. Master, the Spirit of the Lord, fall upon me. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord, be upon me. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. That what Isaiah screamed. That he has what? Uh, uh, the Spirit of God is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me. Then the Spirit of God come with this anointing to turn a devastated place to a habitable place. Man, stand there. Father Lord Jesus, let your Spirit fall upon me this morning, Lord. The Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Man, stand there, the anointing, Lord. Man, stand there, fall upon us in the name of Jesus. He said, the Lord uh, the, the, the anointed us by the Spirit of the Lord to bring good news to the poor. He has uh, sent me to bind up what the broken hearted uh, must son anymore uh, to proclaim the liberty to the captives and uh, the opening of the prison to those who are bound and to proclaim the years of, the, of God's favor and the day of vengeance of God, hell of our God, to comfort all those who mourn, to grant to those who mourn in Zion. To give them a beautiful head, headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of what mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, and uh, that they may be called the oak of righteousness, the oak of righteousness. My son, the name of Rokia, Rekipa, Spirit of Lord, fall upon me in the name of Jesus. My son, let the light of God begin to shine. May I be able to radiate the light of God. May I be able to burn like a torch. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My son, the name of Rokopedia. In the name of Solobo Rodea. Messenim of Surya. Say that they may be called the oak of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. And they shall build up what ancient to win. They shall. Hallelujah. They shall. They shall raise up the former devastations. They shall repair the ruined cities and the devastation of many generations. That is what the manifestation, that is what the Spirit of God, hallelujah, when it fall upon us, hallelujah, we will become a wonder in a place where it is totally deserted. In the name of Jesus, let this light, let this light of the Spirit of God begin to burn, begin to burn, begin to burn. My torch, my light will never go down. In the name of Jesus, my light will not go down. My light will not go down. My light will not go down. In the name of Jesus. Spirit of the Lord, manifest yourself in every areas of our lives. And waking us so that we will continue in the name of Jesus. To be that which you have been in the name of Jesus, which you have created. In the name of Jesus, fulfilling our destiny. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, this morning. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Rock up a day. The name is Seke Payadia. Nanama Sadaba Roku Payabosuria. Rock up a rebels, Robo Yudia. The name is Seke Bosuria. Nanama Sadabo Roku Payadia. The name is Seke Bosuria. Rock up a rebosuria. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 
Now we're going to quickly now go to our confessions. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray let the Spirit of the Lord manifest Himself in every area of your lives in the name of Jesus. So that we begin to defend our maker, we begin to defend our God in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now we'll go straight down to the book of uh, Psalm 23 from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in great pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leaves me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of shadow of death, I fear no evil in the name of Jesus. My son, the name of rock of prayer was the name of the day. For you are with me, your rod and your staff that comfort me. You prepare the table before me in the presence of, in the presence of my enemy. So you anoint my hair with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Psalm 59, verse 1 and 2. Deliver me, deliver us, deliver your children today, Lord. Protect us from the hands of protect us from those who walk evil. My son in the in the name of deliver us from those who walk evil and save us from the blood testament in the name of Jesus. My son in the morning, deliver me from my enemies. Oh my God, protect me from, from those who rise up against me in the name of Jesus. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Protect us from those who rise up against us. In the name of Jesus. My son in the more rock up with the rebels in the most here. Basade Baka Paremo Rodea. Make a paraba rodea. Father, protect me, protect me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. From every angry soul, from every angry my son in the more every anger, everyone who is angry against me, against us, in the name of Jesus, they will not prevail. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, this morning. In the name of Jesus. My son in the morning. In the name of Jesus. And save me from the blood testing name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Psalm 12 from verse 1. Because I dwell in the shelter of the most high. I will always abide. I will always abide. In the name of Jesus. Um, in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say, we say to the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, in the name of Jesus. For he will deliver you, deliver us from the snake or the fowler, for the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinion, and under his wind you will find refuge. The faithfulness is the shield and the buckler. You will not fear the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that fly by day. In the name of Jesus. My son in the more rock up the river, in the more You will not fear my son in the more the person that's talking darkness. You will not fear the destruction that was unknown day. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My son, the master of the river. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but will not come near you. In the name of Jesus. My son in the more rock up the river. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, my son in the more rock up here. In the my son in the more care. Because you have made the Lord of the new place. The most high my refuge. No evil shall be allowed to afford you. In the name of Jesus. No plague will come near your tent. In the name of Jesus. For you command his angels concerning you to guide you in all your ways. From the hand will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. My son here. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent shall trouble on that foot because he holds fast to me in love. I will deliver him, I will protect him because he knows my name. When he called to me, I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble in the name of Jesus. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can show us the salvation in every area of our lives. In the name of the salvation. We show us salvation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Psalm 144 from verse 1 to end. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trained my hands for war and my finger for battle. He is my steadfast Lord, my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I take refuge. Hallelujah. My son, the name of Rocco here. Mazara, he is my steadfast Lord, my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer. In the name of Jesus. Mother, my stronghold you are. My shield you are. And Nana, my son, I take refuge in you. You subdue people under me. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, what is the man that you regard him? Or is someone that you take of him? Man is like a breath, is this like a passing shadow? Bow your heavens, oh Lord, and come down. Tore the mountains, so the smoke. Flat for the lightning and scatter them. In the name of Jesus. Send out your arrow and rule them. Stretch out your hand from all high, rescue me and deliver me from the many waters, from the hands of the foreigners. Whose man speaks like Zeus right hand, right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song to you, O God, upon your ten string harp. In the name of Jesus, I will pray to you who give it to kings, who rescue David the servant from a cruel sword. Rescue me and deliver me from the hands of the foreigners. Whose man speaks like Zeus right hand, right hand of falsehood. In the name of Jesus. May our sons in their youth be like a plant full grown. Our daughters like a corner pillar scored for search of a palace. In the name of Jesus. May our grind be full, providing all kinds of produce. In the name of Jesus. Man, son, in the May our sheep bring forth thousands and ten thousand in our field. May our cattle be heavy with you and suffering no mishap of failure and bearing. May there be no cry of distress in our streets. In the name of Jesus. Bless are the people whose God is the Lord. Bless are the people whose Hallelujah. And God is the Lord in the name of Jesus. And let these blessings begin to fall upon us in every area of our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This one we're going to go right now to the word of God. The old old story ever ever new. The old old story that brings transformation. Let the spirit of the Lord speak to all this morning. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's open the book of uh, we've done with roots already, I think here. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Because the book of Ruth ended in four. Done that already, and the Lord glory to His name for that great and the wonderful book. And the, let's move on now to Samuel, first Samuel chapter 1 from verse 1 to end. God, I will bring this project to hand, O Lord. Reveal, open our eyes, O Lord. Speak to us, O Lord, and give us deep insight to this book of uh, Samuel's. In the name of your let the reason why you put it in the scripture fulfill in our lives in the name of Jesus. For let our eyes be open to this truth that is embedded in the area of the eye, because you say we are covered with eyes, we are called senses, we are sensitive. Let the area be enlightened. Did a particular cell in our lives is attached to that is mass sending for the book of Samuel. Let it be let it be enlightened. And may every area of our life begin to enjoy this light, this 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 touch. It's light in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Book of Samuel from verse 1 to end. Let's go. Thank you, Lord Jesus. First Samuel, chapter 1. There was a certain man of Ramathaim Zophim of the hill country of Ephraim, whose name was Elkanah, the son of Jeroham, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zoph, and Ephrathite. He had two wives. 
The name of the one was Hannah, and the name of the other, Peninnah. And Peninnah had children, but Hannah had no children. Now this man used to go up year by year from his city to worship and to sacrifice to the Lord of hosts at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were priests of the Lord. On the day when Elkanah sacrificed, he would give portions to Peninnah his wife and to all her sons and daughters. But to Hannah he gave a double portion, because he loved her, though the Lord had closed her womb. And her rival used to provoke her grievously to irritate her, because the Lord had closed her womb. So it went on year by year. As often as she went up to the house of the Lord, she used to provoke her. Therefore Hannah wept and would not eat. And Elkanah her husband said to her, Hannah, why do you weep? And why do you not eat? And why is your heart sad? Am I not more to you than ten sons? After they had eaten and drunk in Shiloh, Hannah rose. Now Eli the priest was sitting on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple of the Lord. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor shall touch his head. As she continued praying before the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was speaking in her heart, only her lips moved and her voice was not heard. Therefore Eli took her to be a drunken woman. And Eli said to her, How long will you go on being drunk? Put your wine away from you. But Hannah answered, No, my Lord, I am a woman troubled in spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have been pouring out my soul before the Lord. Do not regard your servant as a worthless woman, for all along I have been speaking out of my great anxiety and vexation. Then Eli answered, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition that you have made to him. And she said, Let your servant find favor in your eyes. Then the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. They rose early in the morning and worshipped before the Lord. Then they went back to their house at Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. And in due time, Hannah conceived and bore a son, and she called his name Samuel. For she said, I have asked for him from the Lord. The man Elkanah and all his house went up to offer to the Lord the yearly sacrifice and to pay his vow. But Hannah did not go up, for she said to her husband, as soon as the child is weaned, I will bring him, so that he may appear in the presence of the Lord and dwell there forever. Elkanah, her husband, said to her, Do what seems best to you. Wait until you have weaned him. Only may the Lord establish his word. So the woman remained and nursed her son until she weaned him. And when she had weaned him, she took him up with her along with a three-year-old bull, an ephah of flour, and a skin of wine and she brought him to the house of the Lord at Shiloh. And the child was young. Then they slaughtered the bull, and they brought the child to Eli. And she said, O oh my Lord, as you live, my Lord, I am the woman who was standing here in your presence, praying to the Lord. For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition that I made to him. Therefore I have lent him to the Lord. As long as he lives, he is lent to the Lord. And he worshipped the Lord there. Well, and he worshipped the Lord there. See, sometimes in life, situation comes. But the way we handle it matters. And the way we handle, handle those situations determines how we end. May God help us in the name of Jesus. You know, looking at the word of God, you can see even though the Lord promised Abraham you will be the father of the whole world and all that, you will be the father. Now that the Lord, you will be the father of many nations. In the real life, it doesn't look like it. In the real life, it looks as if it was a joke. Even to the extent that this man was 75 years, 75 years, nothing has actually happened. But the Lord had promised him. Then he keep on holding on God, trusting, having faith on God. Even when every situation, everything around him was saying no. 
the wife keep growing older and older and older and older and keep shrinking you know when people become after some age we human being as we are will begin to shrink a uh, shrinking age as you are shrinking that is the effect the effect of um of what the old age and in the process of all this thing going on there's no sign to show that you know that god is going to do whatever he has he has promised but even in that very horrible situation, imagine that kind of situation, the enemy will play with our mind. We will be mocking you and your God. And you will bring physical human being around you to continue the harassment in the spirit, in the, in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Remember, we are the product of what is in us. The act of the abundance of heart, man to do what speaks. Out of the abundance of heart, man acts. Hallelujah. That the difference is so clear in the life of Abraham. You can see what was coming out of his out of his character and everything. It does not show at all that he was shrinking or he was getting old in age was he acting as if you know he still have all the time trusting in this god even when he saw himself bending and using who a stick or whatever to support his uh, was still trusting in god and god have mercy in the name of jesus even to the extent it came a time when I want to go after blessing this man, he told him he should sacrifice his son. He still went ahead, still trusting that God will fulfill what he has promised. Took this only son and only son to sacrifice. God wants us to challenge him by showing us your trust in him. Hallelujah. Then you can see, you know, Anna trusted in the lord even though as a human being you know you definitely sometimes feel feel the heat or feel the complaint or feel the insult or feel the humiliation that you are receiving because of that area of your life that it looks as if you know god have not answered you but then i still trusted in the lord he did not go to evil altar he kept serving god with everything in him yeah keep serving god him and the husband keep serving god Hallelujah. And it was the process of the faithfulness to God. The Lord visited her. Hallelujah. The Lord wants to try us. The Lord wants us to be faithful at it for uh, no. No matter whatever is going on. You see, when we are faithful and when situation we try everything to destroy us and we remain faithful to this God. God knows how to restore my Santa Kaide area. He knows how to restore. He knows how to restore. He knows how to restore. It's not the God who fails. It's not the God who is at the who is like a man. See, only this one son that the God bless her now with is greater than millions of people. Greater than millions of souls. Only this one song. The fate of someone is even fed today, fed today all over the world. That was sacrifice gives birth to. May God help us in the name of Jesus. The fate of you know, you know, Abraham. The world is still shaking today because of the effect. Office, 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 love and his trust to God. Imagine after how many years ago. The Lord is looking for those who he can trust. The Lord is looking for those he can rely. Can he count on you? Can he count on me? When things are turning upside down in your life, can he still count on you? May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. 
The Lord is still looking for those who trust. He's looking for those who to trust. God is not after, even though in the world today, the enemy has brought something to the church of Christ. That make everybody chasing crowd. People will boldly say, oh, I want my church to be the greatest numbers. It's not about numbers. It's about quality. What someone was able to accomplish, um, millions of people cannot accomplish it. What David was able to accomplish, millions of people cannot accomplish it today. Hallelujah. What Isaac was able to accomplish, millions of what God wants is quality, not numbers. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Dear to trust in Him. Dear to stand out. Not looking for the crowd. Dear to be that faithful man of God. Who will be faithful to God. It doesn't matter the numbers, your number. Build quality people for God. Not multitude. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Without quality, things around and the, this God will be glorified in the name of Jesus. May the Lord find you faithful in the name of Jesus. And a man who can stand make a peke rebel to those who know that God shall, that be, they shall be strong and do exploits. Can see what Joshua accomplished. God the son to stop. Hallelujah. Quality, not quantity. Because God is still looking for those who will serve Him. Not just serving Him, but in serving Him in spirit and in truth. Serving Him in full trusting Hallelujah. Or in Him. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will find me and will find you and will find us as the faithful and find us Hallelujah. And the men and the women He can rely upon in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord Jesus, you remove the shame and the reproach in the life of Hannah. Father, I remove the shame and reproach in my life. In the name of Jesus. Remove the reproach and the shame in my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, fulfill your works in my life. Fulfill your works in my life. In the name of Jesus, may I not mass Sunday because of fear of what is going on, because of fear around me. Begin to go after the permiss the, uh, the permissive will of God. For help me, Lord, to surrender, to humble myself, to go through it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, help me to walk. In that part of earlier, the perfect, the perfect will of God for my life. And then I fulfill the perfect will of God in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Could it be that the Hannah fulfill the permissive will of God? He would have had a child that came to other person also. But she humbled herself. And the process, the Lord gave her the best. In the name of Jesus. I pray the same grace we receive in the name of you to stand in the name of Jesus. Mass Sunday. Because when you wait faithfully to God, hardly, when we stand faithfully, when we trust in Him, we can fly like the eagles. Hallelujah. Because when the eagle waits, when the eagle waits and the strength of the eagle is renewed, the sky cannot be the limit any longer. This is that what happened in the life of these great men and the women of God in the Bible? They went through a lot. They went through a lot. Imagine, oh God, have mercy. Mm. John, the beloved, what he went through. And the book of Revelation was that. It's not, I'm a God, may God find you standing and standing strong, no matter the situation. In the name of Jesus, we pray. I will fulfill my perfect destiny. In the name of my, the perfect will of God for my life. In the name of Jesus. I want to repeat that word. 
I must fulfill oh, yeah, the perfect will of God for my life. In the name of Jesus, I must fulfill the perfect will of God for my life. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, if I am being lost in the permissive will, Father, realign me, Jesus, to your perfect will. In the name of Jesus. Realign me, Lord Jesus, to your perfect will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, as I have told us that, you know, you can see that the permissive will of God can be very dangerous. Very dangerous. The permissive will of God. It will still supply you everything you want. Give you the grace. Give you an anointing. Show you himself. See, see the depth of, of, of encounter that Moses had with God. Whereas all that was under his permissive will, not perfect will. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. That means as we follow the pastors or churches or programs and all the stuff, follow some people, you know, there's some men that will know God. We have to be very careful and know that we have a relationship with God. Because with a relation, true relationship with God, then you can be able to understand. I be able to I know, ask God to always lead us His perfect will, because sometimes when you know, God have mercy, God have mercy, God have mercy. You can see the thing that children of Israel suffered. The forty years that the children of Israel suffered in the wilderness is due to what? Moses. Operating under the permissive will of God. By the perfect will of God, the whole journey will, will have just been done for only 40 days. Those 40 days. Could it be he obeyed to walk in the perfect will of God? May God help me in the name of Jesus. Why will we disconnect from the perfect will of God to permissive will? It's what fear. Fear. God give us in Jesus' name. Now let's go so now to the the less Bible reading. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The book of um, Hallelujah. Oh, right, tidy there. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we give you praise this morning. Father, help me, Lord, to walk faithfully, fully trusting in you, knowing that you are able to accomplish whatever that you have said. Help me, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. First Corinthians chapter 6, from verse 1 to end. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Santa Kaidi Volodia. First Corinthians 6 from the Son to end. Speak to us once again this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's go. Chapter 6. When one of you has a grievance against another, does he dare go to law before the unrighteous instead of the saints? Or do you not know that the saints will judge the world? And if the world is to be judged by you, are you incompetent to try trivial cases? Do you not know that we are to judge angels? How much more, then, matters pertaining to this life? So if you have such cases, why do you lay them before those who have no standing in the church? I say this to your shame. Can it be that there is no one among you wise enough to settle a dispute between the brothers? But brother goes to law against brother, and that before unbelievers? To have lawsuits at all with one another is already a defeat for you. <laughs> Why not rather suffer wrong? Why not rather be defrauded? But you yourselves wrong and defraud, even your own brothers. Or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? 
do not be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. Mm. Food is meant for the stomach, and the stomach for food, and God will destroy both one and the other. Mm. The body is not meant for sexual immorality, but for the Lord, and the Lord for the body. Mm -hmm. And God raised the Lord, and will also raise us up by his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a prostitute? You know, in this scripture, it's not saying that, um, you know, um, to have, um, you know, intimacy is wrong. No, it's not, it's not wrong. God loves it when we love one another. God loves it when we marry. God loves it. He's happy and he wants you to enjoy your life in this earth. But when you are doing it wrongfully, going out of start experimenting what is not right, that's where it is evil and sin. Like now we can see in the whole world today, in the process of we saying and shouting, oh, too much population in the world, let's reduce the population. Now, what has happened? In the Western world, there's serious scarcity of workers. Even with all the high immigration of people coming to abroad to work, there's still massive scarcity of, 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 of labor. And now we are not resorted now. And even in that scarcity of labor, imagine we are lying to ourselves that we have too much population that too much population and we are reducing making sure that people are being reduced with all the cops you know with all the sexual whatever that we, people are doing here and there even with that we encouraging abortion again for christ's sake so many people have been aborted so much abortion and now he's now start building artificial human being can't you see there's something wrong with our head Artificial human being everywhere. And, complain. and even with that artificial human being, as I say, we, we, we lack people to work. We are still encouraging abortion. Still encouraging, you know, a, 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 a population control. And we are building <coughs> robots everywhere to, to replace human being. And we are installing them in the offices and sucking human being for work. Can you see there's so much wickedness, there's so much, you know, this world. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Those are the things that is actually, you know, that's, that's the problem we are having here in this world today. May God help us in the name of Jesus. So much, so much wickedness and evil. The Lord want us to, you know, could it be that this life that Jesus Christ has brought into this world, that the whole world accepted this very light will not be dwelling in this darkness. May God help us in the name of Jesus. See, the truth is just a, b b before us, and we don't want that truth. We are just lying ourselves because of what greed. So greedy. Everyone to everybody want to assign assign their own brothers and sisters. May God help us in Jesus' name. And therefore, we don't even care the evil that you are causing. We don't even care the pain that you are causing to one another. We don't care. We don't care. We have the African people who will frustrate the economy there. They will send all the money to abroad. And the abroad too, we accept it and say, okay, you come for me. Oh, definitely, they have to. You have to open the door, open the border for you to come, to come and walk. Because if the wealth in Africa has been transferred to the Western world by, 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 by the people that, if you look very well, most of them have been appointed and been placed there by the Westerners. To, so there will be, and there will be frustration and for frustration. 
And these things can be controlled, can be managed, can stop. But you can see this world is not balanced at all. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. Like Nigeria is one of the greatest oil producers. Everywhere oil. There's a, a, a person I just discovered oil too. And is it this year in her compound in the backyard? He discovered oil. Hallelujah. Even with all those blessings of upon her, people are suffering. There's so much scarcity of. Imagine within the last um, less than six months, the oil price have increased almost 500%. And here we have a bonnet of oil. What is happening to the leader? The leaders are, are using the oil to read themselves and they, God have mercy. I don't want to go there. God have mercy in the name of Jesus. These are the evil that we see ourselves in this world. And the Lord is not happy with it. The Lord wants us to look at these things and repent from it. Because the more we do good to one another, you know, you will be the one to enjoy the peace that you have you are bringing. But if you refuse, unfortunately, you will still be the one who will suffer it. May God have mercy in the name of Jesus. And here in verse 2012, it says, All things are lawful for me, but not all things are what are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but not but I will not be dominated by anything i will not be dominated by, by 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 i will not be dominated by i will not be dominated by greed i will not be dominated by jealousy i will not be dominated by these distractions the works of darkness have come to kill to to see to destroy i will not be dominated and i pray that you too will refuse to be dominated by these uh, wicked spirits in the name of jesus say food is meant for the stomach and the stomach is for the food and god will destroy both and the others the body is not meant for sexual immoralities but for the lord and the lord for the body and the god raises raised the lord for god raised the lord and the, and will also raise you uh, raise us up by by his power say do not do not know that your body are members of Christ. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of prostitutes? Never. Or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it's written, the two will, be, will become what? One flesh. But he who is joined to the Lord becomes one's spirit with him. Hallelujah. Say, flee from sexual immorality and every other sin a person commits in outside the body. But the sexual immoral person sin against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is a temple? Your body is a temple. Your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you. Whom you have have from God. You are not your own, for you were bought with a price. So glorify God in your body. Glorify God in your body. May God help us in the name of Jesus. May the Lord deliver us. You see, you know, with this sexual immorality of a thing that the Bible keeps stressing about. Is one of the major issues today in this world, which we are having. That's the basis of the pollution, the transfer. Sicknesses, HIV and all that have been transferred through the same means. People's life and destiny being messed about through this means. Satan uses so much to cause havoc here and there all over the world today. Destiny has been destroyed. Children have been destroyed through these very means. May God help us in the name of Jesus. There is when the Lord says we should flee. Flee from it. Flee from it. Why did Joseph become you know, great as he was? Look at what Satan planted. Could it be he fell with this um, Potiphar's wife? That his destiny would have been destroyed. 
because wicked spirit will be transferred to, to him through that sexual intercourse and the pollute his, his, his brain and pollute him then when he's polluted then you begin to see it will affect everything around him may God help us in the name of Jesus the Lord wants us to flee from it to flee from it so that he, he will be able to do that which he want, he want to do through us and I pray we we'll submit ourselves to him and knowing that we are what the temple of the living God in the name of Jesus so that the Lord can have his way in our lives and this morning if, even if you have done such things or horrible thing probably cheated your wife cheated your husband and and uh, and be and be lying and doing all manner of uh, evil as the word of God have said here earlier there's still a place there's still a grace that's the reason why Jesus Christ died because Jesus Christ did not die for the righteous he died for the unrighteous the one you are certain as a person and savior and turn from your wicked ways and repent from your sin and decide not to go back to those kind of life anymore you decide now to start loving God with everything you and love your neighbors as yourself how the spirit of God will cleanse you will transform you how will we change that alterated DNA of yours then they begin to operate then then the thing that this sin has stolen have destroyed your life can be totally restored hallelujah when you make that genuine turning that genuine turning hallelujah he that is in christ is a new creation all things have passed away that word is true and it still works it today when you sincerely with all your heart and turn away from that wicked ways how do you turn away probably you used to enjoy some a uh, negative relationship you go to this party go to that party you go to nightclub and all that you stop it you have some sexual friends that you are not married you stop it you can do it and when you stay away from all the distraction you can see meaning coming to your life your meaningless life will become meaningful because satan use all those distractions or sexual things and all that you know going to this party and all that drinking and all that to make you more confused in life make you to be more worthless in life you may think you are achieving yes some people may be saying oh yes i am still you know so but there's so much that you are losing there's so much you are losing and god help us in the name of jesus john and that lady who gave her she was a prostitute she gave her life truly to jesus christ and stopped going to nightclub and the friends cut off both sexual relationship with people he's not married with she stopped all that stop genuine repentance total stop, stop all that and told those her friend when they go see i'm totally changed i can't do that anymore Okay. The, her womb that was removed in the process of her adultery and the, the same womb that was removed when she gave her life and got married the Lord blessed her the same womb that was removed the Lord put a baby there to the husband and they went to the doctor that, that removed the womb and the doctor said actually this is happens this is her fight the womb was removed so so they and so so the record is there and they show her husband the husband did not knew that truly that when you are in christ when you are in christ you are a new creation all things have truly passed away and all things have, have become new and her lost years was restored because of what genuine repentance May God help us in the name of Jesus. You cannot say you are a Christian, you are still doing all those stuff, enjoying yourself in the nightclub and all those stuff. That is not enjoyment. You are destroying your life. life. But Satan will let you to know that you are enjoying your life. And at the same time, committed in church. You the same time, you know, preaching in the altar. Because some of you do all, do all that. You still go after evangelism. 
One leg there, one leg out there. They are not yet a new creature. All things have not passed away. Then how do you expect, you know, God to do his own part? When you are not ready and set. May God help us in the name of Jesus. How they want us to pray this morning and ask the Lord, please, Lord, have mercy on me in the name of you. Let them total turn around, total change of hearts in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord, Jenny, how I've been compromising my faith. Father, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Bless you, Lord, this morning. Please, Lord, have mercy, Lord. I'm tired of this ups and downs. I'm tired of this confusion in my life. I, I'm tired. I'm tired, Lord Jesus. My son and any more. I'm coming home like a prodigal son this morning. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come into my life. In the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. I need your help. I've tried all I can. I've tried all I can. I cannot follow Janilo this morning. I need your help. I need your help, Lord. I need your help. I need your help in every area of my life, Lord. I need your help, Lord Jesus. Come down and help me, Lord Jesus. My son, the name of Rocco Eribazia. Many name is Sekerebo Rotaria. Yeah, our humble cry this morning, Lord. In the name of Jesus. We need your help, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus. Rato Ikereba, run in the In the name of Jesus. I want us to pray this prayer this morning. Father, Lord, just any areas of my life that I'm still blind, that enemy is still deceiving me. Daddy, open my eyes to see. Open my understanding. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord. Let every dullness of the spirit, soul, and body be destroyed. Let every form of spiritual blindness in the name of you be destroyed. In the name of let every form of you know, spiritual deafness be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. My son in him. Now open my eyes by your mercy. Open my ears in the name of remove every dullness from my life. In the name of Jesus. My son in him. I surrender my all to you this morning, Holy Spirit of Lord. I surrender my all. I surrender my all. Come into my life this morning. In the name of I surrender my all, Lord. In the name of Jesus. My son in more in the name of Jesus we pray. I want you to repeat this word. Say, Lord, I give you my all. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I give you my all. Have your way in me, Lord Jesus. I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I give you my all. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. In the name of Jesus. And this morning, I confess that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. He died on the cross of Calvary. I surrender my all to Him. Be my Lord, O oh Lord Jesus, from now to the rest of my life. And I promise to serve you from now to the rest of my life. And this morning, I dedicate my spirit, soul, and body to you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. And so shall it continue to be in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And now we're going to go to our last confession. Thank you, Lord Jesus. After our confession, we say some prayers again this morning. Oh, Raka Thank you, Lord Jesus, this morning for the things that you have done. Repeat this all with me. Say, ah, yeah. If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, then Israel now said, If it had not been the Lord who was on my side, when people rose up against us, against me, then they would have swallowed us, swallowed me up alive. When the anger was kindled against us, against me, then the flow would have swept me or us away. The torrent would have gone over us or me. Then, over us, we would have gone the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. We have escaped like a bear from the snail or the fowler. The snail is broken. We have escaped because our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And Father Lord, you are 
use this opportunity to lift up my brothers and my sisters into your hands for those who are going to through what they don't understand thank you lord for this word have come this morning and i believe that great things have started in their life already in the name of jesus Father, i pray this morning lord jesus i did their hands in the blood of jesus i did their legs in the blood of jesus every chain every manipulation every wickedness over their spirit soul their body over their eyes over their heart over their ears be broken this morning in the name of jesus and i decree in the name of you, let the healing divine healing of the spirit soul and body take place in the name of this morning in the name of jesus for your word said in the book of isaiah the one will begin to accept you and begin to obey you begin to love you and begin to be obedient to you that you will bring speedy healing to us for let there be speedy healing this morning to our spirit soul and body let whatever the enemy has stolen and destroyed let there be restoration let there be divine healing in the name of jesus Thank you, Lord, this morning for restore, for these restorations. Thank you, Lord, Lord, for this miracle and signs and wonders in the life of your people. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And this morning we say, Peace unto Israel, Jerusalem. Peace unto the United Kingdom and all the countries of the world. Peace, we pray over all our leaders, our religious leaders, our political leaders. We pray for peace, O Lord. Make them to be an instrument of peace. Fill them with your wisdom and your understanding. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And protect us from every evil. We go out and come back today with testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say glory be to your holy name. And this one will decree and declare, may the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace all around. In the name of you, love you all and have a glory, glorious day. In the name of go and prosper and come back today with testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all and have a brilliant day. In Jesus' name, see you again in the evening. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.